quite recently I visited this beautiful koi pond in Japanese garden. I was lucky because the owner showed me his special koi collection from Japan. So today I visit Roy. He is a hobbyist here in the Netherlands. Maybe you have seen some clips of his koi pond, of his garden. He uh, regularly uploads them on his uh, own uh, uh, socials. But today we're going to visit his, uh, his amazing koi pond. I will take you through the whole garden. I will show you his filtration system. Uh, I will explain a little bit more about that. But the most important thing is we're going to show you some of the koi that are in the pond. Guys, this is the koi pond and I will give you the view from the terrace. So look at this. When you're sitting here in your garden, you have this amazing view. And the koi already know that some of them will be showcased. So the uh, they are, I think they are <laughs> hiding a bit, but look at this very nice koi collection and look at this window. This is absolutely great. Wow, look at this really big one and a really big kohaku. The owner Roy has built his koi pond in three phases. After two adjustments, he is now very happy with the end result. So from this side to this side, he extended this koi pond. And I think he did a really good job, not only because the pond is in a very good space of his garden. You have to see it like the whole picture. The garden, including the koi pond, it's absolutely great. Roy has two bottom drains and a skimmer that ensure that any of the waste at the bottom of the pond is pumped to the filtration system. Once the water is filtered, the water goes back through one of the three returns. So I'll take you to uh, through the filtration system soon, or now. We got some really nice trees, look at this. Imagine if you have to maintain this. Uh, Roy told me that his gardener needs one day to clean out the trees and they do that really often uh, to get everything as it should be. Great. The small building behind the house where the filtration system is located used to be an old police station. Roy did a great job with the minimum space he had. On the left, he built the first filtration system that belonged to his very first pond. When he decided to renovate his pond, he needed more space. Which he cleverly solved by expanding the filtration system on the right. Roy can continue to grow his fish in the winter with his special wood stove. Everything is connected to the pond and I have to say I am very impressed with this layout. Before I show you the amazing fish, a quick shout out to our US partner Select Koi. In the link of this video you will find the contact details if you want to buy high quality koi in the US. Before I forget, if you want to support me you can do so via our Patreon page. Here you will also find the link in the description. So let's get back to Roy his pond. So we got the Momotaro Kohaku and I will put my camera away so I can help Roy. So we bought the first koi and um, we got a very nice Momotaro Kohaku in here. And I think this is one of the top pieces of the koi pond. Uh, if you look at the build of the koi, very long strong head but the body is almost perfect. Um, of course, the skin quality uh, sells itself. Uh, if you look at the kiwa on this side, we got some nice sashi over there. Um, and the depth of the Benny is, uh, is really, really nice. I really like this koi. Um, do you know the size? 55. So about 55 cm. And I think she's near size, so she's two years old. And I think she is uh, one of the top pieces of this koi pond. Uh, she will be probably, uh, I think, a lot bigger than 55. <laughs> 60, yeah. 60. yeah, I think she's she's around 60 right now, and I think she will also uh, get a lot bigger in the future. Uh, this is one of the. This is a 
a pretty good example of uh, a really good Kohaku that if this is around 75 80 cm maybe it's a little bit bigger I will I I will be pretty sure that she will win, uh, win a big prize on uh, one of the Koi shows if you enter them of course absolutely great Roy has an eye for quality every fish that swims in its pond has been selected with great precision make no mistake the fish you see in this video today are extremely valuable and therefore deserve the best care. So we sticked out a really nice show. Well, I picked her out. I really wanted to see her because of a couple of reasons. Very good skin quality. The sumi is like if someone had a black, if someone had some black paint with him and just dropped it on the koi. And uh, there's even some more sumi on the head that will show up later. And also on the side, it's perfectly, it's very equal. And when that when that's getting a little bit more darker on this side, the koi will be ending up very. Very cool. So this one is also from Mamoto. Mamoto Island. So it's two years old, and we just did some measurements, and it was around 55. Yeah, 55. Five, 55, 56 cm. Yeah. It's not Nisai. So it's just Nisai. This one will will be a pretty big one. Wonderful. So we managed to get her in the bowl. And I am, well, I'm not in love, but <laughs> this is unbelievable. I'm a big fan of Ochiba, and this is a very good one. I think Roy, uh, well, I know Roy is very proud of this one. And uh, we managed to get her in the bowl. And she is, I think, around uh, 75. Safe. Or around 70. Well, she, she looks much bigger than, uh, but that's also because of the body shape. I really like the quality of the skin, the pattern, the gray. Wonderful one. So what is the age of this uh, Ochiba? Eight. Okay, so she is uh, around uh, eight years old. And now you see at what age, how beautiful Koi can be. So we have the next we have the next one in the bowl and it feels like a very good weekend. Well in fact it's weekend so much this Friday today. We have a very nice Sanka from the Mamotar Mamotar Koi farm. And I will tell you a joke. Well it's not a joke, but this is a meal. And um, she well I, I'm trying to say she, but it's a he of course. Um, the quality is stunning. The, depth of the Benny is insane. If you compare this with the other Kohakus that are also very good and have very good skin, skin quality, uh, this Kohaku has some very, very nice, uh, very nice Benny. Uh, Kohaku, sorry, Sanka guys. And then the skin is very strong. It's like, almost like paint. So the H is around two or so, three? Three. So she's Sansai, three years old, bought from the uh, Momotaro Koi farm. Well, again, it's a he, <laughs> not a she. <laughs> really good koi. So I had to put the camera the camera down because this Kohaku from the Shintara Koi farm is huge. Guys, this bowl is around one meter. So imagine how big this fish is. Um, Roy, it was around last year ago when he checked her out. 
Um, she is a little bit stressed out, as you can see. You can see the blood veins here, but that will be gone within a couple of hours from now. So no worries about that. She is swimming here, very calm and relaxing. So that's uh, that's good. Um, I bet she is more than. I think she is more than uh, 80 cm. That's great. Safe. Yeah, she's, so she's around seven years old, and uh, she will gain some more length in the coming years but the head is bigger than my hand guys look at this all right so uh, the moment of truth let's see how much growth she got in the last year yeah she's around 84 she's 84 wow it's huge <laughs> for a comparison. Unbelievable. Roy is not only a hobbyist, but also an entrepreneur. A nice product that he has developed is the secret device that ensures that your feeding machine makes more rounds than the standard factory settings. If you are interested in one of his products, you can find the link in the description of this video.